Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I have got match two of my Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021 competition. In this match, it is going to be the Hurricanes versus the Blues. And of course, I will be the Blues for the first half of this one, Hurricanes for the second. But if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Right, these are the lineups. They are full of players who are going to be in the 2021 squads. So hopefully we have got a good match on our hands. Jamie Booth playing halfback, of course. They have lost TJ Perinara. The Hurricanes, they have also got Julian Savia on that left wing and Silesi Rayasi on the right. So it's going to be a good lineup for the Hurricanes. They might be a tough team to beat in this Super Rugby Aotearoa competition, but we will have to wait and see. And those are the benches, the likes of Nepo Lulala, a Chiefs player, who is now at the Blues, and also Dylan Hunt, who was at the Highlanders. But yeah, let's get right into this match. It is going to be Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off for the Hurricanes. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier to score points in the second half as the Hurricanes than this first half as the Blues, I'll be honest, but we will try our best. But Terry Black has taken that one well and is smashed in the tackle by Adi Savia. Jonathan Ruru now passing it to TJ Fayani. Goes to Rico Ioani out to Caleb Clark already, who's in a little bit of space, but is tackled by Salisi Rayasi. And I think kicking this one downfield might be a good decision here. Win behind us as well. Jonathan Ruru has put plenty on that one. And it is going to put Geordie Barrett under a lot of pressure. The question is, no, he hasn't kicked it out. He has decided to kick it straight down the middle. Dewanga Fussy takes that one well. Got a little bit of speed. Tries to step. But is actually smashed in the tackle by Jamie Booth for halfback. He won't be happy about that. Jonathan Ruru goes to Robinson. Goes out to Caleb Clark. Almost found Rico Ioani on his outside. But Salisi Rayasi makes another good tackle. Ruru now to Kira Ioani, goes back to Tuanga Fasi or Terry Black, fires it out to Pera Fera, we're using our backs nicely here, Fayani goes to Mark Talia, who isn't quite able to get enough speed to get round Scrafton. No, it's Reed Princep, isn't it, there, number six? My mistake, we have got Pera Fera now, Robinson has been clotheslined by Julian Savia, and he is going to be going to the bin for ten minutes, Julian Savia, he's only been on the field for a few minutes, and he is already going to spend more time in the bin than on the field for the Hurricanes. It is just a little bit too far out for my range, I think. Oh, the wind was behind me as well, maybe. This isn't the best decision, but a Terry Black is going to kick the ball out just inside the 22. It is going to be James Parsons trying to throw this one as straight as he can. Oh, no. I've started the same way as I did for the first match. That is nowhere near straight. Luckily, Robinson was actually able to grab that one in the first match as the Crusaders. I'm pretty sure I threw it that far sideways. They weren't even getting close to catching it. But nonetheless, it is going to be the Hurricanes ball now. Are they going to go for the scrum? Yes, they are. This would be a great scrum to win against the Feeb. We did turn down the three points, so we want to get seven, that's for sure. That was a good push from the Blues, but just not quite good enough. That one was, though. Oh, double in a row for the Blues in a scrum that they weren't actually feeding him, which is very impressive. Rico Ioani now goes out to Steven Perafetu, cuts up the middle, but is tackled very well by Vince Arsop. Kira Ioani now goes out to Tuanukiafi. Rico Ioani is going to score a try. He almost messed that up, Rico Ioani. Jamie Booth got the little ankle tap. He's got some pace, Jamie Booth. But nonetheless, it is a try to the Blues, and Rico Ioani is the man who scores it. It was tackled from behind Perafeta by Vince Arso. Then it's Akira Ioani out to Tuanukiafi. Lures them all in. And then ankle tap from Jamie Booth forces Rico Ioani over the line. And we are in the lead now as the Blues. It is a Terry Black kicking this one for us. Wins straight behind them, so shouldn't be any issues here. Oh, that one's not the best either. I always seem to struggle with the very first ones I do, but that one has gone over, and the score is now 7-0 to the Blues. That is a good start to the match. Hopefully this will continue throughout the rest of the half. Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off now. They have still got a man in the bin, the Hurricanes. Julian Savia, not what they would have been wanting. Talia takes that one well and is tackled by Lau Mape. And that was almost going to be Artie Savia's ball. And tell you what, they are missing a man at the back. So because of that, Atiri Black is going to kick this one in behind. It is a good kick as well. Can Atiri Black get here? Tell you what, Akira Ioani is almost leading the foot race. So Lisi Rayasi had no option there. And he is actually being driven back into the field of play. But we are going back for a five metre scrum. I thought that was a little bit of a wrong tackle to make there. Almost drove him back out, but we have still got the scrum nonetheless. Now, I could do the cheap option, pass it to Talia, score an easy try. And I probably should have, to be fair, because of the fact that it is like their fault for giving it away. But now, look at this. It's going to be a counter-attack. Geordie Barrett now. Akira Ioani has got that ball back. Ruru has been smashed in the tackle. And Adi Savia is now tackled by Tui Pelotu. But yeah, I probably should have taken the cheap points 
We may have needed them. TJ Fayani goes to Terry Black. It's not going to matter though because Talia's going to score anyway. And I said about how I wouldn't go out that side because it was cheap. But in the end, I actually just ended up passing it out there. Mark Talia scores the try. Tell you what, it was back and forth for a little bit, but Tui Peloto ripping the ball away. Goes to Pedro Feta. Parsons out to Pedro Feta. No, that was TJ Fayani. A Terry Black out to Mark Talia. I thought for a second Pedro Feta had teleported. But then I realised, no, that was TJ Fayani, our number 12. A chance to add another two here. So nonetheless, a good try for the Blues. And tell you what, we are starting to ramp up the scoring in this match. The question is, is Julian Savi going to be back from the bin yet? That is good. Very good kick. Well, they have a healthy advantage here. And if so, yes he is. So that was a costly yellow card for the man in yellow, Julian Savia, because of the fact that we were able to score two tries while he was off the field. Here's the kickoff. There we go, Ioanni takes that one well. It's tackled low by Ardi Savia. And once again, they don't seem to have a fullback. I'm not sure where Jordy Barrett is, but I'm going to try and get a few metres on this kick. Try and kick it for touch. It's a good kick from Jonathan Ruru. That one might stay in. Depending on how it bounces, Julian Savia, is he going to touch it? No, not quite. But that is a very good kick from Jonathan Ruru there, putting the Hurricanes under all sorts of pressure now. Oh, I'm kind of standing in the middle of nowhere. So I'm very glad that they did go to the back. But we have stolen that one. It's Tui Pelotu. Now it's Papa Lee having a bit of a run. Goes to Rico Ioanni. Drawing pass out to Caleb Clark, who steps round one. Can he step round another? He is driving over Caleb Clark. And he's scored again. We are on fire as the Blues here. And I said that it would be easier to score in the second half as the Hurricanes. But at the moment, I don't think it can get much more easy than this. Three tries in only about 19 minutes. I'm very surprised by this. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot closer. But we will have to wait and see for the second half. But Rico Ioanni, good acceleration. Goes back to Caleb Clark, who steps Geordie Barrett. And is driving over the line. I feel like I'm talking too quick for my brain to keep up, but I am very excited about this Super Rugby Aotearoa competition. I hope you guys are too, so remember if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We have got plenty more games to come. We're going to be doing a game every Saturday and Sunday, leading all the way up to Super Rugby Aotearoa, because our final for this one will be one week before it. So that is very good news as well. Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off once again for the Hurricanes. Tell you what, if I keep scoring at this rate, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up as the Hurricanes, I'll be honest. And now it's Akira Ioanni shunting off Julian Savia. He's not having the best game at the moment. I'm not going to kick it in behind again because of the fact, oh no, I should have, because Tuanga Fussy has dropped the ball, unfortunately. I was going to say it would be a little bit cheap just continuously using that exploit in the game. But now Tuanga Fussy unfortunately dropped the ball. And they have now got the scrum, the Hurricanes. Let's see what they can do here. There's some definite power going on Can we get another perfect push? That is the question and the answer is no. Just straight up. Jamie Booth now. That is well cut out by Jonathan Ruru. Tackles Jackson Garden Bishop. Mamapi is tackled there. By Fafita hit hard by Jonathan Ruru once again. He's having a good game so far. Our number nine. But Jamie Booth also having a decent game. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. So now they're going to make some real meters. Now the Hurricanes, they are still going as well. And they are still committing a lot of their men. We didn't commit many at all. And now it is their number five, which would be Scrafton, who is tackled. Jackson Garden Bishop tackled and almost we were able to rip that ball away. I'm kind of about 10 seconds behind at the moment. That's a good run from Dane Coles and that's going to be stolen by Akira Ioane. Goes out to Mark Tilly who tries to step but is tackled low by Lau Mape. And I'm sorry but I'm going to have to kick it in behind because of the fact that that was the best option in that situation. And it is going to be Julian Savia by the looks of it who is going to get that ball. But that's another great kick from Jonathan Ruru putting them under all sorts of pressure. And that is a forward pass and it's another 5 metre scrum for the Blues. They will be trying for the perfect push here, the Hurricanes, but they're not going to get it. We're going to go Hoskins Satuto off the back. Goes to Ruru, one more out to Mark Talia, who scores a second. And it did just look a little bit too easy. That little bit of a set piece off the back of the scrum. And Mark Talia able to score a second of the match. He's very happy about it as well. The Blues will be loving this. They are currently winning this match by a lot more points than I thought they would be at this point was a good scrum push from the Blues and from here I decided to go for a little tiny set piece 
Go Hoskins to Tudu, to Jonathan Ruru. Out to Mark Talia. Julian Savia had no idea what was going on. But because of it, we have managed to score the try. Oh, Terry Black now with this kick. Oh, and hopefully that one will go over. And with that one going over, the score is going to be 28 to the Blues and 0 to the Hurricanes. Jackson Garden Bishop now to kick off for the Hurricanes once again. And tell you what, I wasn't expecting this at all. We are scoring at more than a point a minute at the moment. Akira Ioanni takes that one. That's great acceleration. It runs straight into the wall. That is Artie Savia. They are very bunched at the moment, the Hurricanes. I'm not sure what's going on there. Terry Black goes out to Caleb Clark. And because of it now, is Salisi Rayasi going to catch him? It looks like he might. Is he going to get him? No, not quite. And Caleb Clark scores. I got caught out for a second there because I was rhyming. <laughs> But Caleb Clark able to score that try. And once again, another try to the Blues. This is starting to get ridiculous at this point. I was expecting a close match. And I'm going to have to work very hard in that second half if I want to win this one as the Hurricanes. And Caleb Clark able to score that one once again. So now the Blues are looking like they are in a very dominant position. Oh, Terry Black now taking this kick. And it does look like it's going to go straight down the middle. So it is going to be 35 nil to the Blues. Tell you what, we are still scoring at more than a point a minute. This is going to be tough in this second half, but we will have to wait and see what happens. Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off once again for the Hurricanes. I feel like at this stage they've got to go long. The short kick's just not quite working. Oh, no. Got to love when you jinx it, don't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, Akira Ioane has dropped that one. Laomape now goes to Dane Coles, who's hit hard in the tackle by Tui Pelotu. Jamie Booth now goes. Oh, that was a little, almost a step from Tyrell Lomax. But they have still got the ball now. The Hurricanes, can they get a try in this first half? It could be the difference between a win and a loss in the second. We are going back for the knock-on, though. And it will be a scrum feed to the Hurricanes. Let's see how the scrum responds here. The question is, are the Hurricanes going to be able to retain this one? And tell you what, that was a perfect push from both teams straight away. I wonder how many times I have said tell you what in this episode so far. I feel like it's plenty. That's a great offload from Jackson Garden Bishop. That one is fought from Lao Mape. And because of it, now we have got the scrum. Can both teams get the perfect push this time? No. We both messed up, unfortunately. But we have still got this ball now. And we still haven't scored off a set play in this half yet. Because the scrum one that I did, it wasn't a legitimate set play. So because of it now, we have still got the option of doing this. Caleb Clark now trying to step, and he's got round Geordie Barrett. He's got round Jamie Booth. This is a great individual run from Caleb Clark, but he is forced into touch, unfortunately. Double step on Geordie Barrett and Jamie Booth, but just not quite able to get to the line. And they are going to the back once again. Dane Cole's throwing this one. Is it too straight? Yes, it is. Tui Pelotu steals it. Goes to Terry Black. I'm going to try something different. No, I'm not. Because I got smashed in the tackle by Geordie Barrett. Jonathan Ruru now goes to Papa Lee. Goes out to Peter Feta. Two on one. But he hasn't quite got enough on it. But it doesn't matter. Because Rico Ioane has once again been ankle tapped over the line by Jamie Booth. We are 36 minutes into this match. It's 40 nil to the Blues. It is crazy how many points we are getting at the moment. I was sure this one was going to be as close as the last. So I'm going to have to be scoring at an outstanding rate in the second half as the Hurricanes. Jonathan Ruru now goes to Pera Feta. And it was picked up by Rico Ioane who wasn't quite quick enough to make it without contact. But Jamie Booth once again ankle taps him over the line. By Teddy Black now with this kick. Bit of a crosswind here so hopefully we will be able to get this one. Is the wing going to take that one? It is the question, but no, it has gone down the middle. So the score is now 42-0 to the Blues. They are the away team, so Sky Stadium is in silence at the moment. Garden Bishop kicking off once again. Rico Ioani's going to take that one. He has done well, and he has been tackled by Jackson Garden Bishop. Is that going to be Karevi's ball? Not quite. Jonathan Ruru now goes to Toanga Fassi, goes to Tui Pelotu. Oh, Terry Black, we're just outnumbering them on the wingers. Caleb Clark quick enough this time. It looks like Vincenzo is going to get him. So he fires it back on the inside, but he has found Fafita, and now Jamie Booth in a bit of space. And he is tackled by Peter Feta. That's going to be Papa Lee's ball. Tuanuki Afi now goes to James Parsons. So Terry Black out to Rico Ioani. Mark Talia now has got plenty of pace. He has tried to offload and he has found Akira Ioani, but he is tackled by Tyrell Lomax. Geordie Barrett ripping that ball away. 
But we have taken it back as Rico Ioani. This game is very back and forth at the moment. Caleb Clark tackled well. Robinson round the side of the ruck. Goes to Hoskins, Satushu, Jonathan Ruru. Out to Peter Feta, out to Mark Talia now. Who steps on the inside, but he is tackled. Oh, and what an offload that was from Mark Talia. Are we going to be able to score one more time? I'm not sure. I feel like the Hurricanes at this stage, you would just be kicking this ball out, wouldn't you? Oh, no. I thought for a second Julian Savia was going to back his pace, but instead he decided to pass it. And this one's going to go just a little bit too far by the looks of it. And if it does go, oh no, that's a great job from the Hurricanes. But unfortunately for them, it was carried back. And that means we are going into halftime 42-0 to the Blues. I am swapping to the Hurricanes now. Let's see how we can go in the second half. The Blues having all of the possession. Territory pretty even though, to be honest. Handling errors, they had four the Hurricanes. And as an AI team, you can only have about one if you want half a chance in a match. And unfortunately for them, it just wasn't going their way in the first half. Let's see if we can turn it around in the second. But I would say even if the Blues get one try in the second half, they will win this match. At this stage, it may just be a question of how much are they going to win by. But we don't want to think like that. Akira Ioani's done very well there. Gone to Mark Dallaire. And they're already trying to get their try. But Fafita rips it away. Goes to JB Booth. Armstrong now goes to Lal Mape. Goes to Jackson Garden Bishop. I said his name very weird, but Rayasi tackles very low. Tell you what, Dane Cole's around the side of the ruck. No, hasn't worked out, unfortunately. I'm not sure why the crowd were on their feet. It wasn't very good, unfortunately. Garda Bishop goes to Lal Mape and he's dropped the ball. And I feel like momentum is a thing in this game because of the fact that unfortunately the Hurricanes just aren't quite going to be able to get much going early in the second half and at the moment the more time this takes the less time they have in this match because of the fact that the Blues aren't making much ground so there is still advantage Savia if he rips that one away we are going to go back are we or is advantage over I feel like advantage advantage just got called over I'm not sure what happened there but nonetheless I guess it was kind of alright because I gave the ball straight back to them. But that was weird. Advantage got called over while we had the ball. But it was an advantage to them for our knock-on. That's a great hit from Vince Arsa. And Fafita rips the ball away, but he is tackled by Parsons now. And no one wants to join that ruck, but somehow we have kept that one. They don't have a fullback at the moment. Ruru is offside. Jamie Booth kicking this one deep down the field. And tell you what, he's not winning the foot race with Akira Ioani. It's Dane Coles now trying. He's going to get close, is he? He is doing all that, Dane Coles. And he has scored the try. Akira Ioani, can't believe it. Dane Coles, the pace that he was showing there. I'm not sure where either team's backs were. But Dane Coles slides over the line. It's lucky that it is a nice pitch to play on. Because or else that would give you a big old grass burn, that's for sure. But Jamie Booth kicks it downfield. They were missing their fullback. And tell you what, Dane Coles at this stage, he wouldn't have thought he was winning the foot race. Dives through and slides over the line for the try for the Hurricanes. Jackson Garden Bishop now has got this kick. That is the start of what needs to be an almighty comeback for the Hurricanes. Every kick has to be going over as well. That is for sure. But the score is now 42 to the Blues, 7 to the Hurricanes. Four more tries, all converted, would put us in a drawn position. But that's going to be tough. That is a high a number of tries that we need, that's for sure. Definitely in one half of rugby, but we did score enough in the first half. So let's see if we can do it again in the second. Armstrong takes that one. The Blues in there very early, but somehow we have kept that one. And they don't seem to have a fullback at the moment. So once again, no, I'm not going to kick it in behind. I can't do that. Dane Coles, though, out to Julian Savia. Sells the dummy to Jonathan Ruru. And this is going to be another try for the Hurricanes. And he has scored the try, Julian Savia. He got a yellow in the first half. Cost his team two, some would say. But Julian Savia now scoring for the Hurricanes as well. Lamar Pei very happy with that one. Julian Savia. Probably not so happy. He wants another one, that's for sure. But we had them outnumbered on this side. Dane Cole's drawing pass out. And then he sells the dummy, Julian Savia. Something that's way overpowered in this game at the moment. So I decided to use it to my advantage. And we score the try. Jackson Garden Bishop now with a kick straight out in front. No worries here for him. It's gone down the middle. Jackson Garden Bishop. So the score now 42 to the Blues. And then 14 to the Hurricanes. It seems like it's a mile away, but three more tries is all we need. I'm lying. It's actually four more tries, isn't it? 
We still need four, which is a daunting task when you say it like that. Lamape now shunting off one, but he is tackled by Dalton Papali. And they don't seem to have a fullback again. I'm not sure what's happening in this game with teams' fullbacks. I tried to sell the dummy again. Offload from Jamie Booth, who's got it. Fafita has grabbed that one. He's done very well as well. In that situation, Karefi goes to Savia, goes out to Jackson Garden. Bashup goes to Julian Savia, who's dropped the ball, unfortunately. And because of it, now we are going to be going back for the scrum if they can't make any metres. But the way that the ref was earlier on, maybe we won't be. No, we are going back this time. Julian Savia dropping the ball. That's not what he wants. He hasn't been having the flashiest of games, Julian Savia, unfortunately for him. And now it is a scrum to the Blues, and this could be dangerous if we can't get this ball back. Set. The Blues get a good hit on here. I haven't been saying something because I was concentrating. That was a good push, but unfortunately not quite good enough. Ruru now passes it out to DJ Fayani. And Robinson's in a bit of a gap. Fends off Laomape, but it's tackled by Karevi. They have still got the ball, the Blues here. Oh, that was a good ball. Tell you what, there seems to be plenty of pace on the field at the moment, that's for sure. Has he got enough to a Nukiafi? He has been ankle tapped almost. That is very close to the line. That was poor defence from myself, and it may have just cost us a try. That's a great one. And Tuanga Fassi scores for the Blues. And that is going to be the game, I would think, because that means we now need five tries, which is unheard of. Even though I guess I scored six in the first half, but nonetheless... It just wasn't quite what we were after, that's for sure. It's just a great run from Tuanuki Afi. He's in a wide open space. Luckily, Jamie Booth was there to cover it. But from here, you could see that it, we were going to be in trouble. Oh, it just drew everyone in. A Terry Black goes to Tuanga Fasi and they score the try, the Blues. And I would think with this victory for the Blues, if they can get it, it would put them top of the table, that's for sure. No trouble with that. Two more points. And tell you what, points differential could be the difference between who goes to the final and who doesn't. So the Blues will be very happy with this. Garden Bashup, Garden Bashup kicks start. off once again. We need this ball back and we need it back very Ruru. soon. Ruru now goes to James Parsons. There's a mile of space in TJ Fayani. That's a brilliant kick because that's put us right back into our half and that's not what we wanted. Dane Coles now with a very important... Oh, is that one straight enough? I was going to say throw. There we go. We have kept that one. Jamie Booth now goes to Karevi. Goes out to Laomape. One more to Vince Arsol. Goes to Geordie Barrett. Now in a bit of space. Can he find Celesi Rayasi? He's clotheslined by Caleb Clark, who's now going to the bin. Both number 11s are now going to have a yellow card to their name. How close was this one? Is it going to be worth going for the three here? No, miles out. I'm going to go for the scrum. It's a strange decision, but I feel like it might work out for us as long as we can win this one, of course, because lineouts, they are normally something that under pressure I just get wrong all the time, and that's not what we want. We're going to go for our set play here and hope that we have enough pace out on the wing. It is Vincenzo now out to Julian Savi. He's a quick man, but is he quick enough? He stepped into Talia, unfortunately, and wasn't able to get round him. But now if we fire it wide to the right, we could have a very good chance. Armstrong, you can't be doing that, mate. Handling errors at the moment for us have been a big issue. Not sure who he's eyeing up. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately now, that's one of those mistakes that you can't be having when you want to win a match. But the Blues are just playing a near-perfect game so far, unfortunately. I thought they were going to go for the set play, and Ruru once again kicking it downfield. It's smart play from the computer AI. And because of it now, instead of having a line out 5 metres out from their line, we have got a line out 30 metres out from ours. That one might be too straight. Is that going to be Robinson's ball? No, it's not. Fafita has got that one. See, we are winning line outs all right, so I'm not sure why I didn't take it on, but I should have. Vince Arsa now goes out to Geordie Barrett. If we can get the timing right here, this could be perfect. Salisi Rayasi, though. Is stacked well by Jonathan Ruru. Jamie Booth now around the side goes to Armstrong, who has hung on to it that time. Lomax now goes out to Jackson Garden Bashup. One more to Julian Savia. Is this going to be a try inside ball to Vince Arso, who's dropped the ball as well? No one's able to hang on to it for the Hurricanes at the moment. And it is costing us big time because every time we've had a decent attacking chance, they've just been putting it down, unfortunately. Julian Savia passes it to Vince Arso. It wasn't a hard pass either. It was just floating, but Vince Arso not able to read it. And now we need to win a scrum against the feed again. 
Excellent hit there. Neither team wanting to give an inch. We were getting close, but not close enough, unfortunately. Ruru now passes it to Oteri Black, who has tackled low. And because of it now, are we going to steal that? No, no one wanted to contest, unfortunately. Fafita with a great low tackle on Akira Ioani. Armstrong now goes to Lomax, back to Scrafton. Vinsasa now running up the middle. He's offloaded as well, but somehow in the group of four Hurricanes, he was able to find the one Pira Feta, but now he is injured. Of course, they don't have Bowden Barrett this year either. So now they are lacking a fullback. Who is it going to be? It's going to be Narawa who is going to be replacing him. But once again, a scrum to the Blues. This is all using up time, and that's time we don't have at this point. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get within seven. We need quite a few tries at this point to win this match. I think it's something ridiculous, like five and a drop kick. And unfortunately, that's just not quite going to happen for us. I've gone on the inside to Mark Talia. Goes to the number five. It is Dewey Peloti. We've turned it sideways. But they are just stalling. And now they've done a good kick downfield. The Blues. This is near perfect from the AI at the moment. They're just forcing us back. And it is what you need to do in this situation. Rico Ioani with a great tackle. And Geordie Barrett's now injured. Both fullbacks for either side are now not looking too flash. So we're going to have to go to our bench as well. And it is going to be the man Wes Hooson who is going to be replacing him. So not only are the Hurricanes having a shocker, but now they have got injuries playing a factor in their side as well, which isn't what they want. Right, we have got a scrum now in our 22, and I'm just thinking back to when I decided to go for a scrum instead of kicking for the corner. Could it have been the difference in this match? I don't think we would have been scoring enough to be able to win this one, but I feel like we may have been able to get a little bit closer. Vinsasa now fires it out to Salisi Rayasi, who is going to get caught by Caleb Clark. Is he? Yes, he is. He's fired it on the inside, but once again, it's sticking to the Blues like it's a magnet at the moment. Where's Houston's dropped the ball as well? I'm just glad he didn't get injured. That's looking terrible from the Hurricanes. It's just not really looking like it's going to be a good game for them and now Jamie Booth has kicked it downfield maybe he'll be able to win that foot race but Caleb Clark is a very quick man that's a near perfect way to kick once again Caleb Clark trying to wait for it and because of it now he's trying to drive out as well and they might be able to yes they have what a great play from the Blues there oh and Adi Savi I know it's Julian who got that one Dane Coles now we know that he was on this side so now we can fire it out to Salisi Rayasi and we have scored the try at this point it's just about getting that points differential down. We did decide to go to the right instead because there was a gap in Salisi Rayasi able to score the try. The try scoring machine from Auckland playing against his Auckland side in a way as the Blues. But nonetheless, it was a good try. And we still need a couple more to be honest or else the Hurricanes could be completely out of this competition before it even begun. It is straight down the middle for Jackson Garner Mashup. So we have been able to score three tries in the second half, which I'm not too annoyed about. Three tries is decent, but it is that one try that the Blues got as well. They really just shut the dream down. So, just a few minutes remaining here. Now the oh, Terry Black now. It's going to go to Karefi as he's taken it very well because he had a Blues player right next to him. Have we kept this one? Yes, we have. Can we get another try? That's the question. And hopefully we will be able to answer it very soon. It's fired out to Salisi Rayasi. Inside ball has found Vinsasa from a standing start, unfortunately, though. And that's ripped away by Dalton Papali. Narawa very close to the touchline. Fafita stepped into touch by ripping the ball away. Tell you what, Hurricanes. When it's not your day, it's not your day. And I feel like they're starting to realise it now. That no matter what they were doing, it just wasn't going to make a difference for them. Parsons now has kept that ball to ipoloto has got it. I wouldn't be surprised if they kick this one deep here, the Blues. Oh, unless they're just going to have a go as well. That's a great ball to Robinson. They're starting to do some very nice passes here, the Blues. Scrafton not able to rip that one away, and they might get the last laugh in this match, the Blues. Adi Savia wins the not releasing penalty and this one's going to go into touch surely I have a feeling that this one now I feel like it's going to be ironic and that's not even going to go out so that's the worst thing about it I was going to say I feel like I'm not going to win the line out now or I was going to win it just to rub it in a little bit but unfortunately it's just not the day of the Hurricanes that's a great offload and it's gone into touch I'm complimenting the Blues a lot but what can you do they're winning 49 uh, 21 at the moment Dane Coles now with this line out that one's not going to be straight unfortunately 
Or it is apparently. So we are all right with that Garden Basham now. Can the Hurricanes get the last try in this match? Vizasa Lomape, quick hands out to Savia. Can he get it? It would be. Oh no, we're not going to have enough time. I'm going to go on the inside to Silesi Rayasi. And he is going to score the try. And that is the full-time siren as well. So the score at the end of this match, assuming this kick is going to go over, is going to be 49 to the Blues, 28 to the Hurricanes. And that is not the start to the season that the Hurricanes were after, that's for sure. But at the end of the day, the Blues, we were just able to score so many tries in that first half. I could have scored as Julian Savi. I went to Silesi Rayasi instead. And now that I think about it, that could have an impact on the top try scorers for the competition, so I might have to be careful doing that. Jackson Garnham Bashup straight down the middle with this kick. I was hoping we'd be able to score it just before full time, but nonetheless, that is going to be the end of the game. No trouble with that. Two more points. Yeah, he's striking the ball really well. And at the end of this one, 49 to the Blues, able to score seven tries to the Hurricanes four. Unfortunately, they are hyped, the Blues. I thought that the Hurricanes were going to be in this match in the second half, but unfortunately it was just those good tries early on for the Blues that made them run away with it. The Hurricanes were able to score four tries. Coles, Julian Savia, Salisi Rayasi getting two, and Jackson Garnham Bash at four from four, but on the Blues side, Tuanga Fassi, Caleb Clark two, Rico Ioani two, and Mark Talia two, and Terry Black, a very good day on the boot. The 60% position for the Blues was what helped them out quite a bit. The handling error is overall pretty even. But then that is quite sad because of the fact that handling errors for the Blues in the first half was only nine. So they only have one. Line break's pretty close though. So other than the score, it was a relatively close match. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.